Hello everyone, in this video we're gonna have a look on default template parameters. So let's get started. So in the previous video we have made this and we have learned about how we can use templates and how we can specialize template for each specific type. Now in this video we're gonna have a look how we can define default values for template parameters. Okay. So let's suppose that we have a variable here let's say value equals to 1 and we want to increment it let's say increment value okay or more specifically we can define uh, by how much we want to increment it let's say this is of type integer and how much value we want to add let's say 4 okay so although we can also do that like something like that value plus equals to 4 but just for illustration purpose, I'm doing that this way. Uh, so let's print stdc out. So before increment uh, value equals to value. And stdc out after increment value equals to this okay now so we need to create a function and that should be a template function how we can do that let's do that template now you can see that we have two template parameters okay so we have passed two template arguments so we must have to create two template parameters so type name t1 and type name t2 void increment so we need to pass this value by reference okay so t1 by reference value now there is one thing that we should have to note is that this is a constant value but this is the type but here we have mentioned it is a type name but it is not so we need to specify here the integer how we can do that not integer but specifically let's say if this is an integer value then possibly we want to add integer value to that okay so uh, even though if you want to add floating point value it will convert it to integer i mean it will demote it to integer value okay and in case of float if you want to add integer value into that then it will be promoted to floating point value meaning that this uh, constant value would be of type this so what we can do is we can mention here t1 uh, increment value okay now what we can do is to increment value so this will store this exact constant value so we are just adding here so let's save this and see if that works or not so i'm gonna compile it so let's run it now you can see that we have before increment we had value of one and after increment we have value of 5 so this is how uh, these work but uh, where is the default parameter I mean how we can define it so suppose that I am omitting this so I want to keep it default to 1 so how we can do that is equals to 1 okay so this is the default value of the template parameter um, let's recompile it and rerun it you can see that it is incremented by just one now you can see that it is incremented by just one so this is about the default template parameters you might also uh, see that into your std standard template library where you can specify the container type whether it is a vector whether it is a deck so these are the little advanced stuff that we'll, we'll also see in the subsequent videos of this series.
Now let's talk about template, explicit template instantiation. Explicit template instantiation meaning we want to explicitly instantiate the template no matter where it, is, it has been used or not. So for example, uh, we have just defined here the explicit specialization. Specialization means if that type has to be used in the template augment, then we have to choose this template and we need to instantiate a copy of this uh, method. Okay. But in explicit template instantiation, uh, we force the template engine to instantiate uh, a specific template for a specific type. For example, this print function uh, has the default implementation, which is unknown type. And I want to explicitly instantiate this function for a custom type. Let's say the custom type is struct uh, vector2. Okay. Let's say this. Now I want to instantiate it. Let's say we have template void print const vector sorry uh, we have vector two this way we need to just specify the signature of this function nothing else okay so currently i am just talking about the functions and in the subsequent series of this video we will also talk about class templates and its member function templates lots of things has to be done yet in template we will also talk about all this stuff okay now uh, one thing that we should note is that whenever we are instantiating a template for user defined type then it must meet some of the requirements and the requirement are let's say we are using operators this is okay this operator must be overloaded we need to overload uh, let's say std or stream operator to uh, std or stream stream and then const vector to the value okay so we need to specify how we want to print it not see out we have to like this is the default std out stream okay but we don't want to do that we wa want to make it generic okay so v dot x and this would be something like that return stream okay now this type must have some fields for x and y so float x float y now we are ready with that uh, print yeah so this is the explicit uh, instantiation of the template and remember that explicitly instantiating a template and if you are not still using that it is kind of useless it will add some overhead of the binary size on the binary size because um, instantiating explicitly means that you are defining the function I mean you are making a copy for that specific type and try to make sure that you are instantiating the template as well as you are using uh, also that okay so let's test this so I am creating this vector2 value and let's say five six seven point eight f okay now print i can also specify the augment type explicitly or let the compiler to choose or deduce the type from the argument that we are going to pass okay so for now i am explicitly specifying let's see if that compiles successfully or not okay that's working now you can see that we have a known type oops i forget to add bracket um that's okay save this recompile it now you can see that it is working fine 
So in this video we have learned about how we can specify default values to template parameters and how we can explicitly instantiate the templates. And at last I would like to give you some tips how we can pass a static array to a function without specifying its element count. Okay. So let's suppose that we have a static array uh, integer array of uh, 5. Okay. So 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So we have 5 elements and you have a function. Okay. Uh, let's say print array. So normally you have to pass array and it will get decayed into a pointer. So we need to also specify how many elements are there. I mean how many elements this uh, pointer points to that are valid. Okay. So how to get rid of this extra parameter? You know that uh, you have specified here five elements. So why not let the compiler deduce that we have specified five elements and this print array will automatically know how many elements are there in this. So what you need to do is that uh, create a new function uh, void print array. Okay. Now it will take an array. Okay. So let's specify it integer array of five. So this would work, but uh, this would work in just a specific case where the element size is 5 and the type is integer. We want to make it generic. So let's do that. So we have template type name T. Okay. So this is the element uh, type. Now uh, we also want to create a placeholder for this uh, value. Okay. So what we can do is that uh, integer. Uh, size okay so this would be our size now uh, this will uh, deduce the size automatically and also the type even though if you don't specify the integer it will automatically uh, deduce and the compiler will do uh, on its own so let's do that we have four integer uh, till the size now stdc out we need to print the elements so array i and stdc out now let's save this let's see if that works or not okay oh got it got it so we need to pass it by reference okay so let's pass it by reference now let's save this and now it will work you can see that it is compiled successfully now we have the arrays printed successfully so it will not only work for the static arrays like um, because everything is compile time so it is known at the compile time that how many elements it holds so that's it for this video. I will meet you in the next video with some advanced concepts in templates.